Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving an issue where there's a PCLXL error code on your computer, and this is in regards to your printer. So pretty generic error message uh, from what I've researched into this, but the, hopefully the solution will be pretty easy, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search icon, type in services, Best results should come back with services listed right above app. Go ahead and open that up. Locate the print spooler service. So scroll down and locate that from the list. Double click on it. And you want to make sure startup type is set to automatic and service status is running. If for some reason it is stopped here and it's a stopped, go ahead and select the start button. And then again, set startup type to automatic. Make sure your printer is turned on as well. So if it's turned on, maybe you want to consider turning it off and then turning it back on again. Another thing we can try here as well, close out of here and open up the search menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best results should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. And on the right side, select other troubleshooters. Underneath most frequent, select printer and then the run button that corresponds to it. And hopefully be able to resolve the problem at that point. Again, it doesn't I don't even have a printer hooked up to this computer at the moment, so that's why it's not giving us any options, but that's something you could definitely look into. Also, we suggest going on to the printer manufacturer's website and then looking up your specific printer and downloading the drivers from there. So if you're unsure how to do that, you can just Google your printer, whatever your printer name and model is, and just type in driver update. And then I would recommend going directly to the manufacturer's websites, so whether it's a Dell, Epson, HP, Canon, Xerox printer, and go ahead and just download it directly from their website. So you usually want to get it directly from the manufacturer's site. There are third parties that host files if you have a really old printer perhaps, but generally most people should be able to get them directly from the manufacturer's site. So something I'd recommend taking a look at. And that's pretty much about it guys. Not really much more to show here. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.